gotcha. Poliwag was caught. That's right. Poliwag is the is the Pokemon I wanted to catch for this episode. And as you can see in the sidebar, I've named him Hercule. Alright. Yeah. Well, I usually like to keep my um, catches authentic. And the best way I could do that with catching this annoyingly 15% chance of encountering a Poliwag plus the 50-50 chance of it being male or female, and I wanted a male because if I didn't have a male, then the nickname wouldn't really work. I guess I could have named it Videl, but eh. Anyways, uh, Poliwag is entered to the Pokedex. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. Because it's, it, it is inept on walking on land, its newly grown legs, it always swims around in water. Give a nickname to Paul. Anyway, yeah, better give it that nickname already. Hercule. All right, and the reason I'm naming it Hercule is, well, uh, first let's take a look at its stats. And don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not getting my sixth Pokemon for a while. We're done catching Pokemon for a while. Oh wow, it's got some, so already a decent level. Uh, it knows Bubble and Hypnosis, so it's a good water type. And it's got a status affecting move. Not super accurate. I mean, I wish I had a better move like Spore or something. But, well, what you gonna do? Alright, I took the liberty of cutting out the walk over here. Um, before we move on, I want to do a little bit of training first because there's a couple trainers up here and I can milk some good experience off of them. So, uh, I guess I'll show them why not. Because it's annoying and everybody hates trainer battles. Oh, well, it's only a few. Alright, so I am going to be switch training um, Schlappy and my other Pokemon. Schlappy and Bolt. And I'm going to be mostly using Seed. If I can get Bolt to learn an electric type move, he can just sweep Bolt Sheep. She can just. Uh, 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 <coughs> Ugh. Allergies. Hmm. As I was saying, if I can bolt an electric type move, she can just sweep this in, uh, entire thing because these guys are all are using all water type Pokemon. So until Bolt learns a an electric type move, she's gonna be pretty useless. Uh, so. And Schlappy grew to level 8, that's good. Schlappy's catching up to the rest of the team. Yeah, the thing about having a wide team is the, um, it's a lot more spread out. So, like, I'm trying to train everybody up to be equal. So, it's kind of difficult. And a little bit annoying. Let's see. Ah, oh, stupid out. Hit me. Sorry, bumping my mic, wiping my nose. Oh, there's this guy in every game who sends out just a freaking bunch of Magikarps just because, just to be a dick. That's the only conceivable reason he does this. Just to be a dick. He's like, hey, I've got a whole bunch of weak Pokemon you can take out easily. But you have to sit there and take out each one of them individually. Eventually he started to feel sorry for his Pokemon, just want to walk away and stop beating up his Pokemon. And they're worth so little experience, it's hardly worth it. Uh, man, this is just bad. Although this guy, I think the third Magikarp he throws out is level 15, which might be worth the experience. But just, uh, I mean, that's like nothing. Horrible. Alright, Bolt, because you need the experience. Well, not more than anybody, but mostly you. So, I'm, because, well, Bolt is going to learn Thundershock on her next level, so we are going to try to level her up and then have Thundershock, and that's a level 5 magic card. Damn it. Oh, that was pointless. I don't want to use Tackle, because then we'll be here all day. And considering last episode, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Alright. 
So Magikarp is down. And I believe this is level 15 Magikarp, which would be worth the experience. Ish. There we go, level 15. Sorry for the sniffling, guys. It's just the nose. It hits me at the worst times, I swear. And the worst times are usually when I'm recording. So, huzzah for that. Alright, so Razor Leaf, and we can finally take this out. Razor Leaf's really hurting these things, considering the uh, seed has the Miracle Seed on her. Or him. Sorry. <laughs> Chikorita seems, just seems like a feminine Pokemon. Like, I can imagine, like, a woman carrying a Chikorita around in her purse like a tiny purse dog. That's just, I don't know, that's a weird mental image that I have. I think of some weird things. Anyways, yeah, the thing with these fishermen, they're supposed to have just caught these Pokemon, so why are they battling with them? Aren't they going to, like, use them for food or something? I could take this thing on, but I wouldn't, uh, last five minutes. Um, I was about to say, I'll pit, I'll pit my Poliwag against your Poliwag. That would be a bad idea. Because we'd it'd just be a bubble fest over and over. We'd just be whittling each other down, and it would be so annoying. Raise or leave. And Polywag is taken down. Easy peasy, squim and squeezy. Yes! Bolt good to level 9. Learn Thundershock. That is what I like to see. Now Bolt is going to be ultimately helpful. Because, uh... You gotta understand my love for electric type Pokemon. My two favorite types are ground and electric, which is kind of weird because they're kind of opposite. Alright? <coughs> uh, what's wrong with me? I cannot be getting sick again. Third time. Uh, Alright, Thundershock. Thunder, Thunder, Thundershock! Yeah, just switch to the first position and boom! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, not all the way, but we can damn it. Freaking hypnosis. Uh, I think I've got... No, if I use an awakening, then the polywag is just going to use hypnosis on me again. Uh, but if I don't, then we're going to be here all day. Alright. Um, I have one, don't I? Oh, no, I've got an antidote. I've got nothing to, uh, bitter berry. Heals confusion. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll just have to wait until Bolt wakes up on her own. And then Thunder shocks this Poliwag. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is why sleep is, anno is an annoying, uh, little status ailment. Oh, Sit here, he bubbled over and over again. It's. Oh, finally! No, for a second I thought that was gonna miss. I'm like, oh, if you miss, Bolt, if you miss. No, Bolt pulled through. <laughs> Bolt was asleep. Bolt was counting sheep. Just think about that. Just, just think about that. Splash? Yes. Splash. Splash. You've been splashed by Thrash. <laughs> well, that was sure annoying. Well, so so we actually have a little bit of progress in this video. I am going to go through this next cave after I heal up my Pokemon. I think we've got time. I mean, I did have that huge, like, like walk over here that took him, like, seven minutes. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and put Schlappy out front because he needs the most experience because he's the only one who hasn't broken into double digits and there's another trainer okay this guy I'm going to cut out I'm going to cut out guys from now on yeah I beat Faulkner and his dad's Pokemon yeah that was a bird keeper and Bolt just utterly swept him it was awesome alright so let's go through here Aw, oh, man, we have to fight this guy to get that item. Well, good thing you won't have to see it. Oh, 
Uh, this is probably a Pokemon I should go over. Onyx. It's a uh, big, strong rock type. Rock types are known mainly for their defense. But this thing is actually a rock uh, ground type, so it's times four weak to water, so Schlappy is not going to have too much of a problem taking this thing out. I mean, it's big and it's, uh, pretty powerful, so it might do some damage, but uh, Schlappy is going to do a lot of damage back, and it's going to give me a lot of experience just because it's uh, so high level and so big and stuff. I almost got two levels off of that one thing. Alright. Dad. And we got ourselves a potion. Not too shabby. I do say so myself. Onyx is big and powerful. It's um it's extremely defensive, and that's probably its biggest appeal, but in all honesty, I don't really like it all that much. Alright, well Schlappy got to level 10, so I think I'm going to give Hercule his debut. Now, no, I can't believe I even said this yet. The reason I named him Hercule is uh, because in because his final evolution is half fighting type, and I I am probably going to have to do a little bit of cheating to get um, the water stone that's required for Hercule's final evolution. But well, I do need a good water type, and well, there's oh, well, I mean, I do need a good fighting type. And the other option is uh, is a Machop called Muscle that I get through a trade. And I don't really want a Pokemon I can't fully evolve because I have to. I'd have to trade it. At least this I could uh, cheat my way into a, <coughs> a Water Stone and do that. All right. So, oh yeah, Caves of Wild Pokemon. Got, this guy's a fire breather named Bill. Yeah, I, sorry, I kind of skipped ahead because I spaced out and just started moving on without talking. <laughs> Anyways, Bill is going to send out a coughing. Um, Schlappy's actually a good choice for this because he's a ground type and he's got a ground type move, which is good against poison, which coughing is a pure poison type. Uh, Mud Slap is not all that effective, he's not all that powerful. But, uh, because of the stab bonus and, uh, Copping's weakness, weakness to it, it should be, uh, still a good enough thing. I mean, it's good to have Schlappy having at least one move of each type he has, so he can fully use each one to his advantage. Uh, so he can, uh, be all ground type and take out these poisons, and, uh, on the flip side, be all water type and take out some fire Pokemon. So whatever this fire breather throws at me is uh, not a problem. Oh, this thing appears to be a little bit more defensive than the previous one. <coughs> oh, awesome! Took it out. I don't know why I'm popping so much. <laughs> so appropriate considering what I just took down. Ooh, slam! That's a pretty damn good move. That's pretty powerful. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, let's actually check out that move. <coughs> move, slam, yeah, 80 power. It's an 80 power normal type move. And it's it's pretty awesome. But yeah, we can move along. Hmm, Thundershock has 40. Interesting. Yeah, technically, it's the strongest move any of my Pokemon have. So, kudos. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm... Ooh, a Great Ball. Oh yeah, speaking of Great Ball, um... I got that Great Ball that I picked up earlier, I used it to catch, uh, Hercule. Alright, I'm going to use Slam for the first time on this Sandshrew. Sandshrew's a good Pokemon, I... I like it. I used it as an HM slave in a previous game, named it Buddy. Alright. A uh, good ground type involved in the Sand Slash. Can't complain about Sand Slash. I've used it on my team before. It's well in a uh, personal playthrough a long time ago. I think it was like in a an Emerald version or something, or Ruby or something. I don't know.
Pokemon he actually sent out a Slowpoke. Uh, Slowpoke's a good Pokemon. It's a water psychic type, interesting combination, and uh, it can actually become really defensive. In the older games, uh, its evolution, Slowbro, uh, would learn Amnesia, and if you used Amnesia to raise your special, you would become, effectively become a special tank and a special cannon at the same time. Well, I guess tanks have cannons on them, so... You would be a fully functional uh, tank. You would just take all of your hits and just dish out everything as well. And you were pretty much unstoppable. And I need to use some of my, my potions now. Because my Pokémon are not feeling well. There you go, Schlappy. And I haven't forgotten about you, Bolt. You've done well. Good girl, Bolt. Good girl. Okay. Really wish I had some repels, but I guess I can't really get those this early in the game. I to the Ben, that's useless to me. Um, you know what? Uh, let's see, where, where are my Pokemon in? Um, well, they're all getting up there. I'm going to switch Hercule up to the first position so his bubble can take out one of these rock types that I'm finding in here. Oh, TM39. Let's see what that is. Alright, uh, TM pocket. Swift! An attack that never misses. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me use that at some point. Maybe not. Alright. Moving on. <laughs> uh, honestly, I just want to be out of this cave already. I am, I am done with this. Alrighty then. And now we've got this. Uh, <laughs> There's that awakening I needed a while ago. Honestly, I, um, I have not been through this, this cave as a practice file, so I'm a little lost. <coughs> Ooh, a Vulpix. That's that's a neat Pokemon. It's a uh, fire type, and well, it evolved uh, via Firestone into Ninetales, and it's a it's a really nice Pokemon. I like it. It had it has uh, high special defense, I believe, as uh, Ninetales, and that was high special, of course, in the first gen, which made it kind of broken, but it's still very good in the later generations, as, uh, regardless of that. Also, it looks beautiful as well. It's a fox, and have you ever seen a sh have you ever seen a shiny one? Oh man, go go on Google and look up shiny nine tails. It's just oh man, it's so great with like a silver coat and the blue tips of its tails. It's just a really nice design for a Pokemon. I like it. If you don't know what shiny Pokemon is, originally in the original red and blue, there was a glitch that some Pokemon that would appear to have a different color scheme, and, wait, how does that work? There were no colors in the original games. Maybe it was in yellow. Anyways, or maybe it was this game. I don't know. Eventually, um, it was very rare occurrence, but some Pokemon would have different color schemes, and eventually, uh, they made, they made an actual thing in-game that if you ran into... Like, there was a very small chance, but there was a chance that you could run into a Pokemon with a different color scheme, and it's called Shiny. So that's how Shiny Pokemon work. And they're not really any different than normal Pokemon, they just have a different color scheme, um, and they're extremely rare. Oh, Hercules got a level 13. Interesting. And learned Water Gun. Nice! Okay, well, I'm officially lost in this cave, so I am going to go and see what I'm doing in between episodes, so in the next episode, we'll make it out of this stupid cave. This is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't. Also, I'd like to say I'm recording this on Friday the 13th, and I understand, and I'm actually having bad luck. I'm not superstitious, but God damn it, Friday the 13th. Anyways, again, this is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.